hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Rebecca in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the practical task of chapter 15 which is proofing and we are going to start with activity 15a so activity 15a says open the file activity 15a.rtf remove all errors save and print the document okay so you know we have um, activity 15a in our source folder Okay. okay so this is activity 15a and um, if you look at the document very well you would see that recent is wrong here the spelling is wrong um, you the spelling is wrong um, also if we would see there I mean look at this also matched the spelling is wrong so we don't want to um, look at the document one by one you're going to have about two pages in exam and it's difficult to look at each paragraph one by one and correct the mistakes so to do that we just click on review and then we click on spelling and grammar okay so when we click on spelling and grammar then we'll, it will um, point the text with spelling error one after the other so we just click on change Okay, you don't want to change all because if you click on change all, um, text like name, okay, like name, this one that is that has red on the line, is you don't have to change it because it's a name. Okay, so you want to change one by one. So this spelling is also wrong. So I'll click on change. Okay, this spelling is wrong. Change. This spelling is wrong. Change. Okay, I'm going to ignore this because it's a name ignore and spelling and grammar check is complete so that's how to um, do spelling and grammar check of a document task 15b create a database with the file gym.csv validate the month field okay so i'm going to open microsoft access And create a new database okay so to import the file I will go to external data text file browse okay from my source file and then click on gym then OK next Okay, I need to check the first row, which is the the field names. Next, next. Okay, since we are not given um, the primary key, so I'm just going to click no primary key, and then finish. Okay, so this is uh, the table. We need to validate the month field so that it does not accept any value that does not represent um, a month so meaning that we don't want to have anything less than one or anything greater than 12 okay so to do that we will go to the design view design view okay so the month the data type is fine for month we want it to be number now we need to create uh, the validation rule okay so the validation rule will be greater than zero and less than 13 okay so you can have a validation text so this validation text will be a message an error message that will appear when a wrong data is input okay the validation text can be invalid data okay enter the correct month okay whatever you want to put okay enter the correct month okay and then we need to save first yes okay so let's try to let's see if what we have done works so I'm going to try to input 13 here so it's going to tell me invalid data 
enter the correct month. Task 15C. Open the database saved in Task 15B. Add a new field called title. Okay, so the database we we saved. So we need to add a new field called title. Okay, there you can do that in the data sheet view or in the design view. In the data sheet view, okay, you can just come here, right click, and then insert field, or you come to the design view. Okay, you select this, right click, insert rows. Okay, and then the field name is title okay so for the data type we want short text okay short text is fine and then it says validate this field to make sure only mr mrs miss or doctor are allowed okay so we need to create data validation rule for that so um as we can see this if we look at this text right none of it is more than four okay so you can actually limit the text the field size to maybe um, to four okay and then our validation rule would be mr or mrs or miss or doctor okay and then our validation text would be invalid data okay or whatever in um, validation text you were required to write okay so and then i'm going to save this okay so um if i try let me try a uh, mister okay this is correct so let me try a wrong data Okay, so it will say invalid data. Okay, so that's how we can um, create validation rules for the text we are given. Task 15D. Create a spreadsheet with the file gym.csv. Okay, so we are going to create a spreadsheet. And we need to save this spreadsheet as um, task 15D. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to save this as task 15D. Task 15D. Okay, and I need to change the file type to Excel workbook and then save okay so validate the cells in rows 2 to 30 of the month column okay so we need to validate the cell the month's column okay and we need to validate cell 2 to 20 so what we are going to do is um it says 2 to 30 sorry Okay, 2 to 30. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to look for data validation. Okay, data validation. So you can click on data and then data validation. Okay. Okay, so for the settings, uh, we have to click on we have to click on all number okay whole number so we want the data to be between minimum 1 okay and the maximum is 12 okay and then we are going to set error alert okay so the error alert it can be a warning it can be a stop okay so the title is invalid okay and the error message should be invalid data okay whatsoever error message you want to input you can do that and then click on ok so let's see when i put 13 here okay it's going to say invalid data 
okay if i should impute 12 it will accept okay so that's how we can also do validation in spreadsheet task 15e add to the spreadsheet saved in task 15d a new column one with the label title okay so in column one so we are going to select this and right click then we need to insert okay so we have a new column field okay then we can type the title here okay so the next it says validate the cells in rows 2 to 30 of this column to make sure that only mr mrs miss and doctor are allowed okay so row 2 to 30 okay the same steps click on data data validation okay so for this we are going to make use of list okay so then our source would be mr comma mrs comma miss comma and then doctor okay then for error alert okay you impute the title invalid or you can say um error invalid data okay and then click ok so let's see if i impute mr here okay that will be accepted okay also it gives us the option of choosing the data okay it gives us the drop down okay so let me try and type something wrong okay okay so it will say invalid data 